This song has been written by Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. So beautiful, marvelous. And that is why he is in the category of Chandidas Vidyapati and Govinda Das and associates of Mahaprabhu, not less than them. Not only songs, so many books. And that is why he is the incarnation of Gadadhar Pandit. And you know Gadadhar Pandit is Srimati Radhika. So how high class he is. After six Goswami, Malli he is Saptam Goswami. Agyanati Virandhasya Gyananjana Salakaya Chaksurun Militam Jena Tasmai Sivurai Nama Bancha Kalpatarukhasya Pripasindhu Devacha Patitanam Pavanedho Vaishnavedho Nama Namo Mahabhadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gauratvise Gurave Gaurachandraya Radhikaya Itadalaya Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tadabhaktaya Namo Yang Prabhajanta Manupeta Mapeta Krishtam Dvaipayano Viraha Katarya Juha Putre Titan Mayataya Tarvo Bhinedu Tam Sarva Bhuta Vidayam Munimana Tosmi of Dandar Pranam in the Lord Street of my Parmaradhatam Guru Pad Padma Nikta Leela Pravishtam Vishnu Pasi Shmad Bhakti Paragyan Kesha Vishwan and same millions of Dandar Pranam in the Lord Street of my Sikha Guru Nikta Leela Pravishtam Vishnu Pasi Shmad Bhakti Shmad Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj Last day, how we can go across of Maya easily? This fourth question now was our Prabuddha has given answer. And also, what is the sarup of Narayan or Krishna Tattva? We have explained it. Also, what is Karma Yoga and what is the hidden meaning of Vedas? That by marriage, by first sacrifice and by what? Surapan, Madhyapan. The Vedas wants to control them and from Prabhitti Mad they want to take us in Nibhatmala. In Prabhitti Mad our energy is divided into so much. Like when Krishna was in Braja, gopis had no marriage. If marriage, they neglect it. 
no son, no children, nothing. Their energy was not divided into so many fractions. But in Dwarka, Krishna married Rukmini Shattvama. Rukmini has ten sons and one daughter, divided into ten plus one, eleven, and Krishna has twelfth part. Understand? Twelfth part. And thus, all the queens like so. They can't serve. After this, they have so many grihastha karja, householder works to do here, that to manage. So they can serve like gopis. So, by these things, coming in Nibhakti Mark, if wife, daughter, sons, wealth, give up. Take energy and totally give in Krishna. What is the meaning of sannyas? Same thing, nyas. Taking your mind, heart, energy, everything, and totally, totally surrendered in the Lord's feet of. What is the meaning of brahmachari? Brahmacharati. Brahmani Krishna. Totally their mind, energy, everything. Then he is brahmachari. If only danda, copying, and this cloth, this is not sannyasi, it is brahmachari. If you want to give your whole energy, then come from Prabhupti Mark to that is why we see from ancient time Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, his followers, Rup Goswami, Sanatan Goswami, like this. So we should try to follow. If you grihastha, even at first Rup Sanatan left grihastha. Not married, but his brother, Ballar, and others were married. And he was looking after them. But Lord gave up and gave full energy in Krishna, Parparma, to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, in Vishnu, by Vaidik and Tantric rules and revelations, we should worship Krishna. What is Tantri? Diksha, Archan, or Tantri, Vaidhi. What is Vaidhi? Knowledge, all kinds of open each other. By both, we should try to worship Krishna. Everywhere, the importance of glorification of Guru is told. So many times Tasmat Guru and after Prahlad Maharaj Chavitra in Ekadesh Eskand Bhayam Gritti Aaj Namishita Guru Devatatma in eleven times so many times it has been told. So Guru Nishtha is the backbone of Bhakti. We should try to follow your Gurudev totally and to please Him. To please Him is to please Krishna. So we have just discussed all things. Then He told us, Nemi Maharaj, that I want to hear that Supreme Lord has come in this world to inspire peoples towards Him. I want to hear their Leela Katha, sweet pasta from them. And then He began. 
मधुमारत कैंग और भगवान भगवान श्रुति महाराज भगवान डोंट सो अदर्स बोलो अज्ञान तिमिरन भाष्य ज्ञानांजन शलाकय चक्षुर मिलित जेन तस्म श्री गुरव नम सो इन दैवन क्वेश्चन निमी महाराज इज आस्किंग दैट कृष्णा हु इज फुली इंडिपेंडेंट बट फॉर द प्लेजर ऑफ इज डिवोटीज एंड टू कैप्चर दैम ही टेक्स डिफरेंट इनकारनेशन एट डिफरेंट टाइम्स सो ही वॉन्ट्स टू नो द स्वरूपा एंड द लीलास ऑफ दोज इनकारनेशन सो वी सी इन श्रीमद भागवतम इन द बिगिनिंग शिला सुखदेव गोस्वामी स्टेलिंग अवतारा ही असंख्य हरे सत्व गुण निधे हरे सिन्हा कुल्या सरसा शिव सहस्र जस्ट लाइक देर आर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्ट्रीम्स फ्रॉम ए रिवल देर आर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्ट्रीम फ्रॉम ए सोर्स ऑफ वाटर दे आर डिवाइडेड इन टू सो मेनी स्ट्रीम्स सिमिलरली कृष्णा इज वन बट ही इज टेकिंग थाउजेंड्स ऑफ इनकारनेशन इट इज नॉट इवन इजी टू एनुमरेट दैम बट ही इज हियर इज एनुमरेटिंग दोज हु आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट and he also is uh, 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 enlightening here that krishna is ocean of mercy he is always there with us in whatever condition or whatever species of life just like this shloka in purana jalaja navalakhani there are 900 species of aquatics at 900000 i'm sorry स्थावरा लक्ष्मी देर आर टू मिलियन स्पीशीज ऑफ स्थावरा दैट आर ट्रीज एंड अदर्स एंड क्रिमयो रुद्र संख्या का रुद्र हियर मीन्स इलेवन बिकॉज देर आर इलेवन रुद्रास सो क्रिमयो मीन्स रेप्टाइल्स दो वाक बाई दो क्रॉल दे आर वर्क इलेवन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड and then pakshinam dashlakshanam the 1 million species of birds and then trinshan lakshani pashavaha there are 3 million species of pashavaha animals like beasts and others and chatur lakshani manasa there are 400000 species of human beings we don't even see even 100 but there are 400000 species of human beings अब हम विद इन दीज फोर्टीन प्लानिटरी सिस्टम इन देवलोका इन पृथ्वी लोका ऑल्सो वी सी दे आर सो मेनी एबोरिजनीज इन आसाम साइड ऑफ इंडिया दे आर एबोरिजनीज दे यू नो दे किल दे टेक ए डॉग लेट हिम इट लॉट ऑफ चिक पी एंड गोल्ड एंड देन पुट हिम ऑन द फायर वेन इज नाइसली रोस्टेड देन दे ईट एंड एंजॉय हिम सो दे आर सो अनसिविलाइज एंड नो वंडर इफ वी हैव बीन in these species of life as in evolution evolved and we were now we have taken birth and we are so fortunate to come and listen hari katha having all janma good birth aishwarya lot of wealth shriya beautiful our uh, attires and uh, shruti hi and we are very well educated also to receive gurudev's mercy so shukadev goswami is saying there are there are thousands of incarnations and krishna he himself accepts the modes of material nature when he accepts the modes of material nature of 
ignorance, then he comes as Lord Shiva. When he accepts the passion mode, he comes as Brahma. And when he accepts the goodness mode, he comes as Vishnu. And then he comes as Naranarayan Rishi. He is, um, in Naranarayan Rishi, he is so merciful that half of his representation is human being, which is Nararishi. And there in Badrikashram, he is always, always doing tapasya, austerities. And there, uh, Indra, he was once envious that Naranarayan Rishi may snatch my swan, Loka and all the opulences. So he sent Kamdev and other Apsaras to uh, seduce him. But Naranarayan Rishi did not lose his temper because he is Supreme Personality of Godhead. And he created so many Apsaras that Indra became captivated and then he told Indra, if you like anybody, any of them, you take with them. So Indra chose Urvashi and Urvashi went to heavenly planet and there he narrated Harikatha. He told the beautiful qualities of Lord Narayan and Indra then asked his apology in the lotus feet of Narayan. Similarly, we see in Geet Govindam, that uh, Kavi Dev is uh, has written beautiful stotram that is called the Dashavatar stotram and that is next to the Mangal Giti of his Geet Govindam. To invoke auspiciousness, he is writing Geet Govindam. Pralaya payo dijale dhritabana sivedam dihito bahi tritaritra makhedam jalaja navalakhani. There are 900,000 species of aquatics. So Krishna is first coming where? In the aquatics living entities and he is coming as Kesavadhita Meenu Sarira Jaya Jagadish Hari Krishna is coming as fish incarnation and he is telling his uh, devotee Satyavrat Muni who is going to be next uh, Manu in the next creation that now the time has come for universal devastation, but don't worry, my devotees are always protected. When the devastation will come, you, I will have a horn on my head, you put your uh, rope and make the, um, the boat of the earth planet and board that boat and I will traverse on that water till the time of devastation and then you will enter into new yoga and you will be known as Vavaswat Manu. And then Krishna is also coming and also, we, we were narrating the other day, that in this uh, fish incarnation, Krishna has no bone, no backbone, only skeleton. Fish has no uh, backbone, only skeleton. And then now it is developing. So now the backbone is coming, but it is just round in the form of kurma. So Krishna is coming as kurma avatar, the tortoise incarnation. Kurma avatar? Kurma avatar. And then in Bhagavad has been told Bara and Kurma. Bara is so Krishna. He is now in Kurma avatar who can live within the water and outside the water and who has a has a little ground bone and. There he is Khitirati Vipulatare Tishthati Tava Prishthe Krishna, he as Narayana, when he feels inchik on his back, then who will satisfy him? So he inspires demigods that you get Mandara Parvat, put it into the ocean and churn the ocean and there will be nectar, you will get to drink nectar. So the demons and demigods, they bring Mandara ocean, they put it into the uh, Mandara mountain, they put it into ocean and the Krishna, he comes down as Kurma Avatara and there, when they are churning the ocean, he's, he's satisfied and uh, he so does satisfied that he sleeps as Kurma and then he takes long breath. When we sleep, we take deep breath. And Sutta Goswami is telling in the 12th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam to all the rishis who are attending the 1000 year session of Srimad Bhagavatam and other Puranas that now after so much long time and you have gone through so many penances, your bodies have turned black, you are so 
distressed and tired. So th may Lord Kurma, who is nicely breathing, sleeping within that ocean, by his breeze, these tides are coming. Uh, and Hata. High tide and low tide are coming in the sea and from there very nice uh, smooth air is coming and that air should pacify you. That is the breathing of Lord Kurma. And then Krishna coming as Varaha Avatara. Basati Dasana Shikhare Dharani Tavalagana Shashi Nikalank Nimeva Nimagana So Krishna, here he is taking uh, on his uh, tusk, tusk, on his tusk he is taking the earth planet. His tusk is white and earth planet is black. So Jaydev uh, Goswami is comparing it with the moon. Basati Dashan Shikhare that you are residing earth on your tusk. Dharani Tava Lagana Shashini Kalank Nimeva Nimagana. Shashini means moon, moon and Kalank means there is a black spot within the moon. Similarly, the earth planet on your tusk is looking so beautiful that we are comparing it with the moon. With the It is Keshav himself who is accepting the form of Varaha. It's non different from Krishna. And Varaha, he has a backbone now. But it is horizontal. Uh, it is developing again. And he is. Uh, uh, he, kill, he kills Hiranyaksha in the Savatara. And then he comes into next Savatara. Uh, Tavakar Kamala Varena Kamada Buddha Shringam Dalita Hira Wasp is uh, generally landing on the lotus, big lotus, and then drink, drinking the honey. The Brahma is what? Bumblebee? Bumblebee. Bumblebee is landing on the lotus and drinking the honey. But here, uh, big uh, uh, nails of Krishna, big nails of Narsingadev, they are uh, tearing open the black uh, uh, um, Hirnakashipu. So, Kavi Jayadev is uh, giving a nice simile here. Tavakara Kamalavare Nakamatabhuta Shringam Dalita Hiranya Kashipu Tanu Bhringam That you tore apart the belly of Hiranya Kashipu Keshava Dhrita Narahari Rupa Jaya Jagati Sahari And also Gurudev sometimes he gives us hint that Krishna is four types of hero He is Dhir Lale, Dhir Shant, Dhir Uddhat and Dhir Uddhat So in these four incarnations, first ones second one, third one and fourth one, Krishna is also here uh, uh, Dhir Uddhat Nayak because all his activities are very very heroic and uh, Tejasvita full of uh, full of wonders. So then Krishna comes oh, and thank you. Very good. You have left Hansa, uh, 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 Dattatreya, Four Kumar, Rishabdev, you have left. Oh, anyone come, can count the rain dust of earth, uh, but cannot count the no, no, glory incarnation of Krishna. Om Jnana Chimarandasya Jnana Jnana Salakya Chaksurun Militam Dinathas Vaini Sri Gurave Namaha I offer my heartfelt obeisances to the Lotus Feet of Sri Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj Mantikshu Guru and to all three members of Yasigan, Vaishnav, Vaishnavis, and Sambhukasya. <clears throat> Drumila, one of the Navayogendras. Actually, Rishabdev is an incarnation also 
of Krishna. And he had 100 sons, one of which was the famous Bharat Maharaj, which India Bharat Varsh was named after. He was a great king who renounced everything and accepted pure devotional service. He had 81 sons who were Brahmins, following the uh, Karmakanda section of the Vedas, like Smartha Brahmins. Nine sons were Kshatriyas who ruled over the different Varshas, the different continents and countries of the world. And these other nine sons, Nava Yogendras, were like Avaduts, like our Avadut Maharaj. They traveled the world and like not caring for personal uh, appearances or social convention, they were Maha Bhagavats and they were capable of giving the highest instructions on Bhagavad Dharma, Sanatana Dharma. So here, Nimi Maharaj is asking, what are the various pastimes of the Lord, past, present, and future, and his various incarnations? Why is he asking? Previously it was said that uh, one should follow one's Ishtadev and give everything to a specific incarnation of the Lord that one has an attraction to. We also know in the path of Raganuga Bhakti that we should acquire a certain type of feeling as the sentiments of Vrindavan have and a particular type of incarnation or uh, aspect of the Lord and worship that. So by explaining all the different incarnations and manifestations of the Lord, he's giving him an opportunity to develop some attraction and taste or ruchi for a particular aspect of the Lord. Similarly, Srimad Bhagavatam describes all the different manifestations and ultimately culminates in the tenth canto of Sri Krishna. And when we read systematically, we develop some attraction for one of these incarnations. Advaita Machuta Mananta Mananta Rupam. There are unlimited manifestations of the Lord. As Gurudev said, it, it is impossible to describe all of the qualities and all of the manifestations. Just as Anantashesh with his thousands hoods cannot possibly continue and complete the glorification. Come on the Baman Rupa. Baman Rupa. Go on. One point I wanted to mention. Um, About okay. Kesha Vajita Vamana Rupa Jai Jagadisha Hare. So Vaman Dev is the dwarf incarnation of Krishna. And we know that Bali Maharaj was performing a sacrifice. And by Krishna's arrangement, Vaman Dev came there in the form of a dwarf Brahman and requested from him some charity. So Bali Maharaj being very charitable and a very uh, uh, religious person agreed to this. But his spiritual master, Sukracharya, uh, tried to stop him and said, no, this is Vishnu. You should not give anything. But Balimaraj was bound by his duty and oath and his religious uh, duty to give. So he agreed. And Vamandev expanded himself very, very first he said, what do you want? He said, I want three steps of land only. And Bali Maharaj laughed at him. Oh, I can give you so many things, thousands of cows, a kingdom, whatever you want. Many, many wives. And he said, no, I'm a simple brahmachari. I just want three steps of land. So Bali Maharaj said, okay. And he took some water from his achman cup and tried to make a vow. And Sukracharya actually came into the spout of that uh, spigot huh, of the water pot to block, to even trying to stop him from making this vow. But Bali Maharaj took some grass and stuck it in the spout and caused his eye to be uh, poked out. So he made the vow, and then uh, Vaman Dave, he expanded himself very large. We know the story. His first step, he, he covered the entire material cosmos and universe. The second step, 
covered the pierce, the coverings of this material universe and the causal ocean, causing this causal ocean to drench his lotus feet and become Charnamrita, which actually became the manifestation of Ganga Devi in this world, through the heavenly planets down to this earth. Then Bali Maharaj looked at him with surprise and said, Oh, what to do? <laughs> you have taken everything. So he said, What can I give you? Nothing. I can only bow my head. <coughs> Mom and Dave put his lotus foot on Bali Maharaj's head. And that way he surrendered everything. Bali Maharaj is the example of one who can give everything to the Lord. Om Jnana Tamirandasya Gyanjana Salakaya Taksura Nuitanye Yatasmai Sri Guru Namaha I offer my respectful obeisances unto the Lord's feet of my Diksha Guru millions of times to my Lord's Lord's feet of Divine Grace Jesus Bhakti Vedanta Swami Sri Prabhupada and again unto the Lord's feet of my Shikshu Guru, His Divine Grace, Pril Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, unto the Sanyasi Gan, unto the Brahmacharis, Vaishnavas, Vaishnavis, and all the Lord's Lord. Guru Dev has ordered me to speak about the Pasaram avatar, and in the pastimes, of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, the appearance of Lord Parsaram came at a time when the earth became overburdened with so many Chatriyas who were unqualified. The Chatriya is supposed to become like the father of the kingdom. They are supposed to provide for all of the citizens in the kingdom as if they are providing for their own children. They must provide clothing, food, home, education, spiritual training, guidance, and complete protection. The, the Vedic king is so responsible that even if the child dies before the father, then it is considered that the king is responsible that he has not uh, properly conducted his uh, management of the kingdom. Just like in the case of when Lord Ram was king, one man complained, my son has died before me. So in this way, the king was considered so responsible. So responsible. But during this time, when Parsaram came, the kings became plunderers and thieves. They were exploiting all of the people by heavy burdens of taxation. They were taking away the valuable goods and valuable production of the Vaishyas. And they were exploiting the persons and not giving any proper shelter or charity to the Brahmanas. And so in this way, because they were exploiting and because they were not conducting proper spiritual programs and giving Brahmins charity, etc. Then something had to be done about dealing with all of these uh, evil kings. So, at that time, Parsaram, his uh, mother was killed by one of these Kshatriyas. Her head was removed. His uh, father, 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 I mean, father Jamadagni, the father's head was removed. So, when the father's head was removed, this became the cause of Parsaram's manifesting in his form as Avatar. And he began to kill all the Chatriyas, it says 21 times. I don't know whether that means 21 generations or 21... Times. 21 times he killed all Kshatriyas. And after killing all of these Kshatriyas, 
he collected all of their blood into a uh, ghat there in Kurukshetra. That blood was collected there. And after that, I do not know more than that. Okay. At that point, I know. <laughs> Go on, what? <laughs> After all the blood was collected there in Kurukshetra. Who collected? In whole world he, he cut all Kshatriyas. Yes. Then from that place, that place, who collected? He? No. How collected? Huh? Those who were killed in Kurukshetra, then the blood was collected there. Not collected. Automatically, Automatically it drained into this one dot. Five small parts. Five small parts. <laughs> Beyond it, those ponds then became lakes, they became reservoirs, and people go to that dead poor chapter, then became a sanctified place. Beyond this, I cannot remember. Anyhow, he killed. <laughs> Twenty-one times all Kshatriya. Only those who were in mother's arms, they were saved. And when they became big, oh, again and again. <laughs> then, Ramachandra. You know Vyas also? Vyas. Vyas, he is also in Parmesan. And according to sacrifice everything, he collected months of different, different parts. And he told to him four very prominent disciples. They told to their disciples and thus there are so many sakhas of Vedas. <coughs> and then, Ramavatar. Oh, you. Ramavatar. <coughs> In brief. Om <laughs> So the avatar of Ramachandra, he came to give Mariyada instructions on the proper uh, duties of the Kshatriya uh, saintly persons. So Lord Ramachandra took birth in the Raghu dynasty, Raghupati Raghava Raja Ram. Patita Pavana, Sita Ram. So his brothers... <laughs> oh, it is in Vedarya as well. Tell from any authentic book. <clears throat> so his brothers were Lakshman, Bharat and Shatrugna. So, all the devotees here know the story. Uh, Ramachandra, king of uh, son of King Dasarat, it was his time to rightly receive the throne and become uh, installed as the king, the Raj of the Raghu dynasty. But <clears throat> Kal had a different plan. The plan of uh, Lord Ramachandra and Sita in unfolded, and Ram, uh, mother uh, Kaikeyi, took a bone that she was given to her by Dasarat that she had two boons, and at that time she decided to take those boons and one that her, her son, Bharat, would be given the kingdom. And that Ramachandra, the second boon was that Ramachandra would be exiled to the forest for 14 years. So Ramachandra, understanding that this was the boon that was given by Dasra to Kage, wanted to facilitate the promise of his father, and so he uh, very... Very short, not so... Otherwise, two, three days, equal. 
So Ramachandra agreed to go to the forest, even though the entire kingdom wanted to go too. He and Sita and Lakshman left for the forest for 14 years. They killed demons in the forest, and then... Uh, <laughs> then Sita was stolen away by the demon Ravana. And... Ram took the help of the monkey king, Sugriva, and also Hanumanji, and they rescued Sita back from the kingdom of Ravana. Ravana was destroyed along with all of his 10,000 brothers and so many different persons. His pious brother, Gavishan, uh, was installed there, and Ravana returned back to his kingdom, and uh, so many pastimes that caused one to cry very much. I was in, <laughs> I was in Florida and I watched Gurudev watching the Ramayan, and uh, so many tears were coming uh, from, and even though in spite so many tears coming from the uh, understanding of the Ramayana and his pastimes, we are so encouraged by these pastimes to engage uh, in worshiping the Supreme Lord through the performance of Sankirtan Yagya, which comes later by the Kali Yuga. <laughs> huh? Hi. <laughs> it is perhaps written in the I first of all offer millions and millions of Dandavat pranams unto the Lotus Feet of my beloved Gurudev, Om Vishnu Pad, Paramaham Sotaraja Pacharja, Astol Tadasar Shishima, Srila Bhakti Vedanta, Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and this is again unto our beloved Nityam Vishnu Om Vishnu Pad, Paramaham Sotaraja Pacharja, Astol Tadasar Shishima, Shri Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, and all the Sanyasis and Vaishnavas. <coughs> so Srila Gurudev has asked me to say something briefly about the Krishna avatar. So Lord Krishna advents once in a day of Lord Brahma. This is once every 4,360,000,000 years. Once in a day of Lord Brahma. Krishna advents to demonstrate his extreme mercy to the jivas and show us his extraordinary activities. How the Supreme Personality of Godhead himself, Swayam Bhagavan, is conducting his pastimes in Goloka Vrindavan, which manifests fully in this Boma Vrindavan, in this, in this world. So the advent, according to Bhagavatam, is that Krishna manifested in Mathura, in the jail of Kamsa. But we understand when, Vya when Vasudev took Krishna to Vrindavan, Mother Yashoda had already given birth to Krishna there. And that Mathura Nath Krishna merged with the Prajendranandan Krishna in Vrindavan. So Krishna grew up in Vrindavan for the first um, 16 years of his life. And so many wonderful pastimes of the demons coming into Vrindavan to churn the nectar of rasa that the Lord was experiencing and tasting with his beloved Brijabhasis. All the demons were allowed in on the, uh, by, by Yogmaya to in, in, um, in, encourage and, and bring out so many wonderful um, exchanges of affection. Just like in the Dhammada Lila, how when Mother Yashoda, she bound Krishna and so much love and affection was involved in this very beautiful pastime after Krishna had pulled down the twin Arjun trees and Nanda Baba had untied the knot 
that Mother Yashoda was completely um, in anxiety about her relationship with, with Krishna at that time. So Srila Gurudev has spoken so extensively on these pastimes. And then after Vrindavan pastimes, we've just been hearing in San Francisco, how Krishna went to Mathura, how he killed uh, Kuvalya Pidi, the, the uh, elephant, and the uh, wrestlers, Chanura, Mas Mustika, and then finally he jumped on the dais and killed Kangsa, dragging Kangsa around the arena, and all the different experiences of the audience in their relationship to Sri Krishna is told at that time. So principally Krishna is showing the quality of his relationships with his devotees throughout his Vrindavan Leela. And then the pastimes in Mathura and then the pastimes in Dwarka where he's marrying 16,108 queens. And then finally now we have reached this 11th canto where the Lord himself is demonstrating his detachment from his own family members after the battle of Kurukshetra when 640 million Kshatriyas were slaughtered on that field, then the Lord himself realized that his own family members, the Yadus, were actually very powerful. And he couldn't possibly leave with these family members still on the planet. So he made this very beautiful arrangement where the son of Jambavati, Samba, dressed up as a woman and taunted the various sages at Pindraka. And the sages were very... Um, uh, insulted by Samba inquiring from them uh, do you think what 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 sort of child is in the womb of this 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 young lady this was a boy dressed up as a, a girl pretending to be pregnant so this was very rude and arrogant of these young boys and at that time Durvasa he cursed Samba to give birth to an iron club and to their horror, when they look underneath his dress, they found this iron club. And they were terrified of the curse of this sage Durvasa, so they rushed to Ugrasen. And they didn't go to Krishna because they were afraid to go to Krishna, but they went to Ugrasen instead and presented it in the, in the assembly. And Ugrasen, he ground that club to dust. And we know the story how one little piece of iron was left. And Ugrasen personally himself, he went to the ocean and he threw all those iron filings and that last piece of iron into the ocean. And then the ocean carried those iron filings across to the shore of the mainland where they implanted themselves in these canes on the side on the shore. And then Krishna um, uh, is, uh, well, well many inauspicious par um, omens were manifested at that time and it was understood that uh, something very inauspicious was about to take place. So at that time, Krishna suggested to all the residents of the, the male members of the Krishna dynasty, of the Yadus, that they go to Prabash and have a yagya, a sacrifice, to offset these inauspicious omens. And at that time, Uddhava comes to Krishna, and Krishna gives very beautiful, sweet instruction in this Uddhav Git which comes just after the chapters that we're discussing now in this 11th canto. And then after that Uddhav Git, it's described the closing chapters when Krishna goes with these 250 million Yadu um, warriors to Prabash to conduct the Yagya to offset the inauspicious omens. And I think it was an eclipse at that time also. Thank you. And One thing that Krishna has not come really to kill all demons and to take the burden of Oh, earth really has come bhakta vinodaya. So he came from Golok Vrindavan, he took all his associates 
and Ras Lila from there. And he, he did Ras Lila. Very powerful. To whom anyone Vikriditam Badu Badu Bhe Dhan Chavishno Sardhanvata Shariyo Tath Barani Yedija Bhakti Param Bhagavati Pati Labhya Kama Hedaro Brahma Sumatya so this sweet pastime, even more than Basel Ras, even Dham Bandhan Lila, Ras Lila, if anyone will hear it with so much strong faith, and then in the guidance of Gurudev he will read and tell to others this. In his poetry also, or Bhagavad Katha, or in his language he may, if he will do, then very soon <coughs> calm will come to serve Krishna in Kama Nuga Bhakti will come. And when it will come, by the influence of this big rope, he will go. Those persons who believe that first Bhakti comes, this, Kam Bhakti, Kama Nuga, and then he goes away. They are feel. And though don't believe, oh, first we should give up on earth and then we should hear. Oh, they are not. So he has come to place his so sweet pastimes. And thus, though he will hear, though he will see, and though he will buy. Guru Parampara they will hear, they will be revelated and they will have Krishna Prem for this. And second reason was that, but Krishna never killed anyone, Vishnu in him, he killed all. <laughs> then Buddha Uta. Unto the Lord's seat of my spiritual masters, His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Shri Prabhupada, and my sexual guru, His Divine Grace, Bhakti Vedanta Maya Maharaj. So, when we were discussing the uh, Navigandras, one of the Navigandras' names was Avyahotra. So, Avyahotra taught the process about, answered the queries of Nimi Maharaj about Karma Yoga. So, there's a general propensity amongst the human beings to eat meat, to enjoy sex, to uh, drink wine. So Vedvyas established mantras and sacrifices in order to make this propensity dovetail to the Supreme Lord. So part of those sacrifices was the offering of flesh animals, and when this had become exploited by the living beings to such an extent that it was uh, unfortunate for the animal civilization, the Lord incarnated as the avatar of Buddha to teach ahimsa, non-violence. So non-violence is also one of our principles. Of course, Krishna fought Bhagavad Gita to show that violence used in the service of the Lord can also be performed at dovetail. But as general principle, we have to follow the principle of non-violence, not to give uh, injury to any living entity unnecessarily. And uh, there was a time when our Srila Prabhupada was uh, on the planet, and there was, uh, when he was in India, there was two kittens playing while he was being massaged. While he was being massaged, those two kittens fell into his lap. And the devotees were a little bit amazed. Oh, what's Prabhupada going to do? But then he said, oh, just see how the love is there in every living entity. And this is demoniac. If somebody thinks a, a living being can put his head in your lap, and then you turn around and slit his throat, that is the worst consciousness. So Buddha put a stop to this. He took people away from the Vedas, because the Vedas had given the authority to go ahead and perform that sacrifice in order to eat the flesh of the animals. The Buddha said, don't listen to the Vedas, you follow me. So people followed Buddha, and the animals were, of course, very grateful for that. <laughs> and it was a necessary adjustment, because the, the Vedas are our mother, we don't want to be without our mother. So after Buddha came some Gacharya to re reintroduce the Vedas, but with a twisted version on the order of Lord Narayan. So, if you read the book called uh, Vaishnavi Jai, which is Param Gurudev's analysis of Mayabad philosophy, you'll see that actually this Buddha 
philosophy, the philosophy of impersonalism of Sankaracharya is exactly related to Buddhism, but with different nomenclature. So it's virtually the same thing. And their confusion is also that so there are two another Buddha that appeared in Nepal by the name of Gautam. So Gautam Buddha contrived this uh, philosophy that the world is nothing, everything comes from nothing, and we never see in existence anything arising out of nothing. But that was his philosophy. And uh, he, real world people are now so they actually believed it and accepted that yes, everything is ultimately a void. So this is called uh, Sunyavad. So Sunyavad and Mayavad are exactly related, and Bhakti Pragyakishi Maharaj points this out in his uh, book on Mayavad philosophy, which everyone should read. The books are here, I'm sure, on the table. Beyond Nirvana. Beyond Nirvana, republished as Beyond Nirvana. So the Avatar Buddha and the Risen Incarnation are two different people and not the same one. The Avatar Buddha Avatar is our worshipful incarnation, the Supreme Lord. The other one who attained some small realization was a human being. And of course, not the Supreme Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And then, Prachanna, Prachanna Avatar, that is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He will come, he has come already, and preached everywhere in whole world. Nam, Sankirtan, by the influence of name Sankirtan. We see, day by day it is growing, and by the influence of this, this is called Dhanya Kali. And that is why, by the influence of preaching of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nam Sankirtan, oh, in this Kali Yuga, Kalki will not come. But in all other Yugas, Kalki must come. Also it has been written in Chaitanya Bhagavat and Lahud Bhagavatam and other things. Why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu e Prachanna? In Shastra, they have, Krishna has come in Prachanna, hidden away as Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Not directly Krishna has come. And for that reason, Ved and Upanishad and Shastra Puran also, in hidden way they have told. Because Veda ayam parakshabhado ayam. Parakshabhado ayam Veda balanam anushasanam. Like what is parakshabhado? There was a boy, very beautiful, black complexion. Oh, playing on fruit very, very well and attracting all, peacock feather here, and grazing cows. But not name is given. Who is he? No need of taking the name of Krishna. Oh, this is Parukshapa. So Vedas, in this way Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told in hidden way. Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur in what Upanishad? Chaitanya Upanishad. He had disclosed all this. Oh, so many praman from Mahabharata, Srimad Bhagavatam, Krishna Varnam, Krishnaus Krishna, and so many things. Hmm? So, Nemi Maharaj was very much happy. And then he told, those who don't worship Krishna or any incarnation of Krishna, what is the, their gati, destination. destination. And then he told so many things. In brief, they will have to go in Narak. 
and by good activities they will go to swarga and from there they will again here come and they will encircle in the circle of birth and death those who will and those who are wise they will worship krishna or his any manifestation then he asked in what age what jug in what color what name of the incarnation of krishna and in what way their upasana should be done how they should be worshiped it's what श्रीकृष्णी He has so many incarnations. They are as if Chaitanya no Mahaprabhu is playing to Sanatana Goswami. Sri Krishna is six incarnations mostly: Purusha Avatar, Juga Avatar, Guna Avatar, Lila Avatar, Manantara Avatar, and Sattavesha Avatar. So many incarnations. In Sattavesha Avatar, they are Narad, Vyas, Prithu. विभूति Sri Krishna so many incarnations. They are all very very interesting. Sri Krishna all incarnations. When he came in human dynasty, when he was Lord Ram, then he manifest rules and regulations. How can live in this world? Previous life, previous time, so many many incarnations came. When demonic persons came, also demon rakshas came. that time he killed so many demons and manifest best religion this way so many incarnations came lord ram he is marjada purushottam he manifest rules and regulations and supreme lord shri krishna he came on day of brahma day so there he he will come with all his associates and his swing his sweetness leela everyone they can hear this leela then everyone will be pure and their pure heart pure mind after then satya treta dapar kali phor yuga brahma one day or brahma they are phor chatur chatur yuga mean phor phor chatur you cycle ha you cycle so एक हजार चतुर्थी वन थाउजेंड चतुर्थी का इसका सब दिया स्वतः त्रेता दापर कली फर युगा फर युगा बतार का मिल फर युगा बतार इन सत्य युग फिर इन सत्य युग का एंड देन सो नर नारायण ऐसी सुकल वाला अवतार एपीआर एंड मेडिटेट एंड सोल्ड टू एनी वन एनी वन कैन मेडिटेट एंड सेटिंग आसन they are control their senses mind and taking your life after then they put on his forehead then they are meditating long long time 
in the Satya Yuga, the people lived one last one hundred thousand years since. So long age that time they did austerity. And Lord Vishnu showed these things. Satya Treta Dhabar Kali in Treta Yuga, Rakta Varna Avatar, so meditate, Jagya fire sacrifice. Then anyone, they did fire sacrifice and they worship to Vishnu. In this way, in Treta Yuga, they are so, Prishni Garva Avatar, Prishni Garva Avatar, he came and he manifest this incarnation, this fire sacrifice. So then people, they lived only 10,000 years, they did fire sacrifice. After then, Dwapar Yuga come, more more pollution. So people, they lived on only 1,000 years to 5,000 years, their age. Then they, they did worship to Vishnu. Dwapare Bhagavana Syama Pitavasa Nijayudha. In Dwapare Yud, Bhagavan, one incarnation is coming and he has four arms. Ayud, Sankha, Chakra, Gada, Padma, and Pita Vasa, Pita Vastra, and like same to Krishna, but not Krishna. So any Dwapa Yuga, this incarnation is coming and showed everyone how can do worship deity. So everyone they worship deity. In this way, in Dwapa Yuga, they start to be so. But in Kali Yuga, only 100 years age, there are more or less and more and more pollutions coming. And everyone too much busy. They have no time. But how is process? Very easy process they can follow and they will be happy. Their life will be successful. Nana Tantra Vidhanena Kalavapi Tathasya. Sri Karvajan Rishi spoke to Nimi Maharaj. Maharaj Nana Tantra Vidhani Kalavapi in the Kali How they were saved to Sri Krishna? They are precious. So many, many Shastras, Narad Pancharatra, so many Pancharatra Shastras, how worship to Vishnu, everything, all the rules and revelations so manifesting there. Also, Tantra Vidhanina, Nana Tantra Vidhanina, Sruti Vidham, Ved Shastra, Vedanta Shastra, these kinds, they are following. Then they are chanting Sri Krishna's name. So, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came in, in this Kali Yuga. Krishna Varnam Tisa Krishna Sangho Pankastra Parsadam Jagai Sankirtana Prayair Jajantihi Sumedhasa Buddhiman Purush, intelligent persons, they worship to Sri Krishna. How they worship? Krishna Varnam Tisa Krishna. Who is this incarnation? Any Kali Yuga Every Kali Yuga, all incarnations come in, but in this Kali Yuga, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Supreme Lord, Sri Krishna, He Himself, so He came. Krishna Varnam Tisa, Krishna, Sangho Pangastra Parsatam. Always who is chanting Sri Krishna's name? And Akrishna Pit Varnam Avatar. Also, Gargajaya spoke when he had gone in Nanda Maharaj, Nanda Bhavan, then he spoke, Krishna, Asana Bhavanas Trayo Yas Grinato Anu Yugam Tanu, O Nanda Maharaj, your son, previous life, previous three yugas, Asana Bhavanas Trayo Yas Sukla Raktas Tathapita, in Satya Yuga, he took incarnation Sukla Bhavanas Trayo Yas Sukla and in Treta Yuga, Rakta Bhavanas Trayo in Kali Yuga also, Pith Varna Avatar. Or Krishna means Pith Varna. Yellow. Yellow color. And golden color. He is golden color. Who took Radhika as mood and her golden color. And he manifest his form. He covered the same form. And golden color he manifest. So Pith Varna Avatar means Krishna, Krishna, two words. 
Already he chanting Krishna, Krishna, when he appeared, then he manifest this name. Everyone they chant Hari Vol, Hari Vol, Hari Vol, that time he appeared in Navati Dham. So Krishna Varnam Tisha, Krishna Musango Pangastra Parasadam. Everyone when they are chanting Sri Krishna's name, Hari 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 Hari, Hari Vol, Hari Vol, then Mahaprabhu laugh. Otherwise he is weeping, then all bring, all uh, ladies and anyone they are coming and they are joking and chanting Hari Nam, Hari Vol, Hari Vol, then Mahaprabhu laugh. So in this way his name was Gaur Hari. He is golden color Gaur Hari. And see, Satimata gave his name Nimai. Because this is name is bitter name, so everyone cannot give Najar. Najar means. So, they never give cause, so in this way, Satimata gave his name Nimai. So he was Nimai Pandit. After that, his name is Gaur Hari. When he took sannyas, then his name was Sri Krishna Chaitanya, who gave full consciousness to everyone and gave this name, Sri Krishna name, and made purity. So, Anga Upanga Astra Parsada Sanjay, when he appeared in this world, then he manifest his Second form, Nityananda Prabhu, he is Anga, Upanga Sri Adaita Charya, Astra Harinam Sankirtan, all devotees, they are parsat, associates. So all, everyone they came. In this way, anyone can worship to Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Sankirtana Praya Irijayanti, he is Umeda, sir. This is called Sankirtan Yajya. All the time, everyone, all together, they are dancing, singing, chanting Sri Krishna's name. This is called Sankirtan Yajna sacrifice. So, they are great person, senior, and very qualified who, who is chanting Sri Krishna's name, worship in this way. Otherwise, everything lost. They don't know who is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In this Kali Yuga, so everyone busy, they have no time. So all the time working and running everywhere, but anyone easily they can chant, they can speak Sri Krishna name. So other other yuga, what they did, everything they can find in in this Harinam Sankirtan. So there are Sikar Vahajan Rishi spoke about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Deyam. Sada pari bhavag nama vishtato ham Tirthas padam siva virinchinutam sarannam Vittarthi aham pranatapala bhava Bande Mahapurusate Charanarabindam Tattva Sudostaja Surev Sitaraja Lakshmi Dharmi Stayarija Bachasa Jadagadarannam Maya Mrigam Daite Sita Manadhava Bande Mahapurusate Charanarabindam Bande Mahapurusate Charanarabindam Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu. Bhagavan Satyananda Nagaur Hari, he is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So we pray to, pray to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he came, appeared, so he fulfilled all desires. Brahma, Sip, Indra, so anyone, previous life, they had seen Sri Krishna's Leela. 
but they always pray to Mahaprabhu. Oh, we want to see your sweetness, Lila. Please give me pure love and affection. In this way they came in Navadir Dham and there are so they did worship to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. See, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always fulfilled their desire. Bhittarthi aham pranata pala bhavabdhi potam. He is only one boat across the bhava ocean. So, bande maha purushate chaitanya maha prabhu more more kindness, more more merciful. So, previous lives, so many incarnations came, they killed demons, they killed others, but they not become devotees. And they never served to Sri Krishna. Sri Krishna came. And also Sri Krishna avatar, when Sri Krishna came, he is Hatari Gatidai, he killed demons, but gave liberation, so must take liberation, go. But never give bhakti, pure love and affection to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is more, more merciful. So he came, he took Radhika's golden color because she is Karuna Mahi. More mercy, great mercy. If everyone feeling this form and looking, have they have experience when they are coming at once, they will be free from Maya and all offense will be finished, then they can get pure love and affection. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and he gave this pure brain. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we should pray to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. When he came in Navadir Dham, Kattva Sudus Taya Surev Sita Rajya Lashmi Dharmist Arja Vachasa Jadagadar Anna So, in Srimad Bhagavatam Karuhajan Rishi spoke, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, when he played with friends, with boys in river Gange, and swimming there. Then, then so many Brahmins, they are chanting Gayatri. And that time, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took water, so he. Then, Brahmins, they prohibited, oh my dear boy, very careful, should be careful, we are chanting mantra. But anyone, they give fear and talking so much, but he never listen, don't care. One Brahman, he is taking Brahman thread. Oh, my dear naughty boy, so all he is playing and all he is making disturbance. I am chanting Gayatri, you are making disturbance. So I am giving curse you. That time he gave curse. Your family life, everything will be finished. Oh, when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, with all his associates, Closing the door, singing in Shiva's anger, closing the door, and one Brahmin wanted to enter, but he could not enter. Then he calls. Hmm. Both. Then Brahman gave curse to Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu laughed, okay. My family life will be finished, no problem. But, so I am getting the earth, all family. Family, uh, family life, and they will be free from ignorance. So I am showing and giving pure love and affection. Then Mahaprabhu showed to everyone, anyone they cannot say, oh, why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left his old mother, and why he left his wife, young, young lad? So why he left? So anyone about and anyone saying, but Mahaprabhu showed to everyone because Brahman gave the curse, so what can I do? So my family life finished. So I am taking sannyas. Tattva sudhus tajas surev sita rajya lachmin. So they, all demigods, anyone, they cannot live this family situations, but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu left all things, all desires. He took sannyas. Yesterday also showed Anilam Pippali Khandal Kapni Varite Ulatiya Bari Kap Nari Vukasite. So I brought Pippali Khandal people, but 
So copying not going more, more copying coming. So how can do? So I gave pure love and affection to so many students. Fight me. In this way they become atheist. So how can he give pure love and affection? Then he took sannyas. When he Mahaprabhu going with Nityananda Prabhu and Nityananda Prabhu took him in Santipu. Because when Mahaprabhu came in Ganges bank, then Mahaprabhu asked to Nityananda Prabhu, Oh Nithai, why you bring here in Santipu? I want to go Vrindava. That time Nityananda Prabhu told, so you fasting, you are fasting three days, no drink, no food, nothing. So how can you go in Vrindavan? You are going to Vrindavan, no problem, first take prasada, after then go. So, we can, you can come in Santipur, first we are taking prasada, then they came in Santipur, Adyaita Bhavan. There are so thousands, thousands, last, last, million, million, million people came. When they came and they had seen Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sanna's days, everyone they are following to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's prayer. And they are praying to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Krishna Prem Hai Jar Dur Darasane. Many persons they are they are staying behind so long distance. They are praying to Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu gave please, so much please. And everyone they are fulfilled in this Krishna Prem. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu more, more please us, give Krishna Prem. Then Mahaprabhu always singing and always chanting, Kahamo Pranana Murali Bada Kahajam Kahapam Brajendra Nanda Kahare Kahiva Jane do Brajendra Nandan Bina Kate Morabu Kahamur Pranana Murali Bodan. We are my Murali Bodan secrets. Where is Brajendra Nandan? Without him, so my broken high heart, my heart. So Mahaprabhu always weeping. And like her man so going on the way, everyone, so Mahap, the, when they are looking to Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu this mood, then their heart, mind, everything fulfill this Krishna prayer. And also Jaitanya Mahaprabhu called everyone, he went door to door and call everyone, oh my dear Daita. Oh my dear Daita, where are you going? Don't go in family life, family situation. This, this is danger. There is nothing happiness. You must come near me. And please chant Hari Bol, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. So in this way, everyone when they are singing Hari Bol, Hari Bol, then their heart, mind, everything fulfilled. So Mahaprabhu gave pure love and affection. Bande Mahapurusate Charanara Bindam. So I should pray to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who was testing this pure love and affection, Radhika's mood. And in this way, he showed to everyone, anyone can follow to Brajagopi and Brajavasi, and anyone can chant this Krishna name then everyone's life will be happy, purified, and fulfill their desires. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave this pain. We should pray to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Karvahajan Rishi spoke, In this Kali Yuga, this is golden age, Dhanna Kali. 
in this Kali Yuga, so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave everyone their life is successful. Sattva Treta Dapar Kali for Yuga, everyone they were saved. But in this Kali Yuga, other other Yuga people, they are coming in this Kali Yuga, they are taking birth. And also Devi gods, so any, any, any others, everyone they are coming in human life. And very soon, very quickly they are chanting Hari Nam and they are testing these moods and Hari Katha. Then they are going to Goloddha. So, I'm having this So, in Kalyo, was separate duty in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he will be worshipped only by Snam Sankirtan. Very easy method. Also, <coughs> it has been written in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Kali Sabha Janta Arja Gunagya Sarbha. That Kali is. Uh, treasure of all bad qualities. <laughs> so, but one good quality. If any will, anyone will do Nam Sankirtan, what is received by tapasya in satyaju, by sacrifice in tritaju, dvapar, archan, everything will be received more than that Krishna prema. By tapasya, no Krishna prema. By sacrifice, no Krishna prema. By archan, no, but by this especially. Nam Sankirtan one day. So, in Kalju, Kalju, we see that if you will do any scene by mind, oh, they will be not fruitful. Understand? If you are doing in mind, I will kill him. Huh? Or other things, it will be not fruitful. But if you, in mind, do good activities, even in mind, I want to give a donation of thousand cows to others. I want to do anything welfare for others. It will give fruit. So, Kaljug is, in this Kaljug, Anyone, if he is so much wicked, everything, but if in the guidance of Guru Dev, will chant Krishna name Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare Hare He will be liberated from endless pain of endless birth and death, and he will have Krishna. Very soon. So this is Kalyu Vasetil Diti. Telling this, no Jogendra. Oh, in the council of Nemi Maharaj, at once it disappeared. And then, was, uh, Narada Rishi was telling first this, no Jogendra Sambha. Nara told to Vasudeva Maharaj and Devaki, Oh, you are thinking that Krishna is son, your son. But really, what he? He is Sarvatma, he is the soul of soul of everyone. He is Sarveshwar, <coughs> Supreme Lord of heaven, when uh, Swain Krishna, and Sarva Karan Karanam Anadi Adi He is no root, no mool, but he is the root of all. He is very merciful. 
So, you should know this fact. By this, serving Krishna, you will be liberated from this world and you will go to Golok Vrindavan and serve him. Mm -hmm. Oh, hearing this, they okay and Vasudev, we call, became Ascharj Chakhi. Astonished. Oh, my son Krishna is so, his Supreme Lord. And then they became very astonished. And they think in Krishna and they. Narada Rishi went to other planet. Gaur Praman. Tomorrow, Uddhav Sambad we will be here. Be ready for. Tomorrow, Annakut Mahotsav. Oh, Annakut Mahotsav tomorrow. I think that so many preparations are going on. If anyone will give Govardhan, even a one rice, any preparation, he will not be bigger. Lakshmi may be bigger, bigger. But this person who will get donation for Govardhan Puja, made for Sanelia herself for himself, and offered to Krishna Govardhan. Krishna has told himself. Oh, this is new Vrindavan. Govardhan is there, Govardhan Sila will come there, Radha Kund and Sham Kunds are there. So, tomorrow, in night you can prepare some parthenelias. Luchi, Puri, Rasagulla, Rasamalai, Laddu, Paratha and so many preparations. Not so much but, but even one, two, three kinds. I want that not less than three Three, sixty-five kinds of paraphernalia. <laughs> so we will count there. Hare Krishna. Shiva Gurudev Mahasri Bhutis has given some initiation. We will announce their name, but prior to that, Shiva Dishambar Prabhu and others want to do some announcement. Up. Okay, so now we will announce that their spiritual name. And day after tomorrow will be fire sacrifice. So I am requesting Sipa Tirtha Maharaj to contact with Sipa Nanda Gopal Prabhu where it will take place and to arrange all paraphernalia for fire sacrifice. Day after tomorrow, 10 a.m. Now we will announce the new spiritual name who has taken initiation from Sri Guru Dev. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. When we announce your name, please stand up and then Srila Gurudev will announce your new name. Today I have received initiation. Chandrika Devi Dasi receiving Diksha from Costa Rica. Tom Drake receiving Harinam and Diksha. Please stand up. Okay. Radhika Mishri receiving Harina. Radhika Dasi. Gopika Mishra Mishri receiving Harina. Oh, Gopika. Gopika Dasi. Krishna Kanta Prabhu receiving Diksha from Los Angeles. Krishna Kanta. Krishna Kanta Prabhu receiving Shiksha today. All are very happy from Los Angeles. Maha Shakti Das
also receiving Shiksha from Shiva Guru Dev today, Maitreya Das Prabhu. <laughs> receiving Harina Tulsi Morton from Australia, daughter of Mahaprabhu. Receiving Harinam, Nila, Nila Madhva, son of Mahaprabhu Ki, son of Nandini Dasi. Receiving Harinam, Tamal Krishna, son of Godavari Dasi. Tamal Krishna Prabhu Ki. Receiving Diksha, Nandini Dasi from Miami. Nandini Dasi Ki. Receiving Harinam. Doug Dillon from California, Tracy. Receiving Harina, friend of Rupa Manohar, Francisca Cake. Francisca. Dasi Ki. Receiving Harinam, Kirstin Louise Kinghorn. Kalyani Dasi Ki. Receiving Diksha, Yamuna Devi Dasi. Oh, Yamuna Devi Dasi Ki. Receiving Harinam, Reginald Trotter. Radha Vinod Prabhu Ki. Receiving Harina. Purandar. Purandar Das Ki. Sonam Narayan Kamalachua. Receiving Diksha Radhanath Prabhu from Miramar, Florida. Kara Suryamani receiving Harinam and Diksha. Tulavati Devi Ki Jai. Receiving Harinam, Giovanna L. Bianca. Gopali Dasi Ki Jai. Receiving Diksha, Narayan Das. Narayan Das Ki Jai. Naveen Krishna Das Ki Jai. Receiving Gopal Mantra, Subhadra Dasi. Subhadra Dasi Ki Jai. Receiving Harinam, Melody. Madhumati Dasi Ki Jai. Receiving Harinam, Rebecca Malmaz. Devaki Dasi Ki Jai. Revati Dashi Ki Jai, Revati, Revati. Also receiving Shiksha from Canada, Gaur Das Prabhu Ki Jai. And then receiving Harina from Washington, Asede Selasi. Anupam Das Ki Jai. Receiving Diksha from New York, Raghunath Das Prabhu. Raghunath Das Prabhu Ki. Receiving Harina from Canada, Ron Schneider. Ramanath Das Ki Jai. Ramanath. Receiving Gopal Mantra, Gopal Mantra, Lalit Krishna Das. Lakshmi Devi Dasi. Oh, Lakshmi Devi Dasi Ki. Receiving Harina Damodar Das from Costa Rica. Oh, Damodar Das Ki. Receiving Harina Patricia Farmer. Patima Dasi Ki. Last two from from. Vancouver receiving Harinam and Gopal Mantra, Heymant Gorg and Mansi Gorg. Namsi. 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 Namsi.
दासी की ही जय Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you. As Shri Gurudev was speaking about Anakut Mahamahotsava, the offerings for Giriraj Govardhan, we have uh, purchased so much boga for all of you. Anyone who likes, as Shri Gurudev said, even one small thing or so many, we have a whole table set up by the registration booth. We have milk, butter, sugar, dried fruits, nuts, candy, chips, so many things. You can come and you can take something. And you can cook somewhere, or you can get some dry uh, boga, where you can just make an offering or fruits or vegetables. But it's all there available for you. It will be set up right after uh, the announcements. Thank you. And Hare Krishna. Also, for all of you, any that are new or coming here, you could please come and register when you have a chance, uh, beginning tonight. Thank you. And we will all assemble here tomorrow at about 9:30. Everything, all the preparations that are cooked will first come here and then Srila Gurudev will come and personally along with others put these plates on your heads and we will carry them in procession over to Giriraj Govardhan. Uh, yeah, be careful when you carry. Also tomorrow morning Shripad Damodar Maharaj will give a short class of glorifying these pastimes that we'll be experiencing tomorrow on the glories of Govardhan Puja. And that will begin at 7.30. Hare Krishna Giridaj Govardhan Ki Quiet please I offer my crown of faces to my Deshya Guru, Sri 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 Mai Swami Narayan Maharaj, to my Harinam Guru, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and to all the Vaishnav devotees. I ask you to please forgive me. I never speak before the Sangha ever. But as a mother forgives a son, I ask for your forgiveness. Shri Sri Gurudev, we can never pay you back for what you have given us. Because for all that, th that we've done here, you've given us a second chance to bhakti. In 1996, in ISKCON, they were actually doing it as, as an, um, no, not the centennial, where they were actually counting how many Prabhupada disciples that were left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Census. <laughs> so they counted the men, women, and children for all, who actually were actually active in ISKCON. And of all those people, there was less than 500 out of the 10,000. In 1996, Sri Day, when you came, until now, you've doubled, tripled, and quadrupled all the devotees who are Prabhupada disciples and who knew Sri Prabhupada. You gave us hope when we were hopeless, and you gave us a home when we were homeless. So it is our goal that we should be very bold for you, Gurudev. Not shy, not weak, but bold and like lions. Because you sacrifice so much in writing these books for us. You travel around the world twice a year. You sacrifice your whole life just to help us. And we can never pay you back. But you did ask for two things. One, distribute your books. And two, bring new people to you. It's just like when the AIDS virus is here now, millions of people are dying. But if one person actually had the cure for that AIDS and they kept it to themselves, what would the people think of that person? Miser. They would actually hate him. In the same way, Sri Gurudev has a cure for all the fallen souls. He can actually stop birth, death, old age and disease. If we follow his instructions properly and fully, he guarantees that we can go with him back to Godhead. All we have to do is follow his instructions with Sarabhi. So in the same thing, these books, these here that you see here, are called time bombs. Shri Papa called them time bombs. The reason why is we cannot be attached when we distribute them. 
but they do go off and give bhakti for the people. Anatta, Advaita Prabhu, Krishna Das, so many devotees. Advaita Prabhu, the one who is actually in Columbus, Ohio, he is actually going to his girlfriend's house for the prom. And while he was waiting at the prom, actually his girlfriend was taking a long time to get ready. So on the shelf he saw this beautiful Krishna book. And he took the Krishna book down and he started reading it. And then when his girlfriend came, he asked if he could borrow it. And so they went to the prom. But the problem is she never saw him again. And two weeks later, he joined the temple. Another devotee in San Francisco. He was driving, and Amataji distributed back to Godhead at the corner of the street and gave it to him, and he gave a dollar just to get rid of her. So he took the magazine, threw it in the back seat, and it slid underneath the seat of the car. Many months later, while he was cleaning his car, he needed change. So what did he do? Go underneath the seat. And when he pulled out the back to Godhead, he looked at the back, and there was a very beautiful woman holding a plate of Mahapasad with a very beautiful smile. He did not see the woman, he saw the Mahapasad. <laughs> so he went, two days later, to the temple, and he never left again. The last devotee I want to bring up, he was in Chicago Great Lakes, he was a soldier. And so his drill sergeant, they had new recruits coming in. And the first thing the drill sergeant does is he goes through all the bags and starts pulling everything out because they throw it away. And his job was to throw everything in the garbage can. So after the soldiers left because they were going to be shaved up and also given shots, he saw three beautiful Srimad Bhagavatams and one Bhagavad Gita on the table. They came from Ohio Airport, from Sankatan. He took two of those books without the authorization and hit him in his locker. <laughs> Within a few days, he called the temple in Chicago, it was on Evanston, there's an old YMCA building, and he asked how to get there. The devotees were so kind, they actually picked him up just so they can take him there. And then for six weeks, he kept asking more questions. But the problem was, when he read the book about the author, he made a decision that he would leave the military AWOL. He didn't care if he actually went to prison, just so he can see Srila Prabhupada. But the devotees, Govinda, who was there at the time, was so merciful, they actually picked him up and took all his stuff from the military base, and then actually they flew him to another state. And there they gave him a lawyer, and he got an honorable discharge, and he's a devotee today also. Srila Prabhupada always explained to us about the importance of, uh, of book distribution, and Srila Gurudev is doing this now to us. I'm sorry, you have to go. So we're just asking that if everybody can try to do the book distribution, be very kind. Only I have one thing to say. In Sankirtan, we have three Ds. One is called distribution, the other one is called develop, and the other one is called diction. So if you can distribute the books, if you read the books and distribute the books, who would be happy? Then you develop the people by giving your email and then start calling them and invite them to the program. Because the bottom dollars, if we want to invite them to see Shirley every day. So in honor, um, Gurudev has asked me many times, and I spaced out, uh, in honor of the book distributors, Gurudev wanted to know several times from me and Radha Kantarabhu, who are the top book distributors? I reported to him in Kona, Hawaii last year. I told him, oh, the top book distributors are teams, UK, USA, etc. He says, who is the top book distributor? He asked me, and I said, oh, devotees? Okay, we're going to have to do more research. So finally, we figured out, we asked the world to report, and now, in honor of them, Gurudev wanted to reciprocate with them. So, the top three book distributors, they're not here today, they're from the United Kingdom. I'll mention their names, and Gurudev is going to give them tickets to Kartik. Their names are Abhimanyu Prabhu, from the United Kingdom. Kamala Didi. Pati Prabhu. Now we're going to go on 
Charu Krishna Prabhu from Germany, number four. Now there are some devotees that are here, and those devotees that are here, they're lucky. Please come to Gurudev, and he has something for you. Get it, Hari Prabhu, number five. From Haridai Govinda Prabhu, from Bay Area. Sajan Maharaj. here today. Number eight, Ram Kanta Prabhu from Bay Area. <laughs> Venu Gopal Prabhu is not here, he's in Bangalore. He's watching on webcast most likely. <laughs> Jiva Priya Prabhu from the Bay Area. Vrindavan Vihari Prabhu, he's traveling. I don't know where he's at. Vrindavan? Oh, right there. Radha Didi. Yeah? Sachi Didi, she is not here. She's in Germany, too. Another European. Sachi Didi. Rahini Nandan Prabhu in Mexico. All right, then, Rahini Nandan Prabhu, come here. And then Sudevi Didi from Germany, Jai Gopal Prabhu from Germany, Suji Chakini from Germany. Gurudev we wanted to honor them. I showed him that we we're going to give him Maha, uh, give the book distributors Maha socks. He says that's it. And so I'm trying to figure something out. So <laughs> please forgive me. I'm Lawrence, the Sankirtan Movement Book Distribution King. Now, anyone who wants to participate, come to the book table. There are two ways. You could either participate by book distribution like the devotees have, or you could sponsor books and book distribution for the Gurukul and parties. Come to the book table for more information. Jaya Guru.